Hello everyone and welcome to Neat Buddy. Today we are going to provide you with 15 MCQs unit wise from the unit that you are seeing on your screens. This is the fifth time revision of NCRT Biology. I hope you are finding these MCQs helpful in your coming Neat exam preparation. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Question number one. In genetic engineering, a DNA segment, gene of interest, is transferred to host cell through a vector. Consider the following four agents in regard and select the correct option about which or more of these can be used as vector. So four objects or four rather four agents have been given. You have to tell out of these which all can be used as a vector. Bacterium, plasmodium, plasmid, bacteriophage. Options are given. You have to tell out of these four organisms or these four agents which can be used as vector or vectors. So the correct answer is option 3. B and D are used as vector that is plasmid and bacteriophage can be used as a vector. Question number 2. The linking of antibiotic resistant genes with plasmid vector became possible with exonucleases, DNA ligases, endonucleases, DNA polymerases, linking of antibiotic resistant gene. The correct answer is option 2. With the discovery of DNA ligase, the linking of genes became possible. Question number 3. The 3' prime to 5' prime phosphodiester linkage inside a polynucleotide chain serves to join. What does the 3' prime 5' prime phosphodiesterase linkage joins? one nucleoside with another nucleoside, one nucleotide with another nucleotide, one nitrogenous base with a pentose sugar, one DNA strand with other DNA strand. The correct answer is option 2, one nucleotide with another nucleotide. Question number 4. Main objective of production or use of herbicide resistant GM crops is to Reduce herbicide accumulation in food articles for health safety. Eliminate weeds from the field without use of manual labor. Eliminate weeds from the field without use of herbicides. Encourage eco-friendly herbicides. The correct answer is option 2 to eliminate weeds from the field without use of manual labor. Now the point to understand here is what does herbicide resistant GM crop means? Herbicide resistant GM crops means that the crop that you will cultivate now would be resistant to herbicides. However, the weeds that would grow over there won't be resistant to herbicide. So now if you spray herbicide in your field, entire field, your crops being resistant to herbicide won't get affected, but the weeds will get eliminated. Earlier what used to happen, the herbicides used to damage the crop as well. Hence the weeds needed to be removed manually. Now with the occurrence of the resistant GM crops, now once we have developed the resistant GM crops, we can use herbicide which are not affecting the GM crop since the GM crop is resistant to the herbicide but at the same time the weeds get eliminated because they are not resistant to herbicide. Question number 5. Human insulin is being commercially produced by a transgenic species of Saccharomyces, Escherichia, Mycobacterium, Rhizobium. The correct answer is option 2. Escherichia coli, a recombinant species of Escherichia coli is being used to produce human insulin. Question number 6. What is antisense technology? RNA polymerase producing DNA, a cell displaying foreign antigen used for synthesis of antigen, production of soma clones and variants in tissue culture, when a piece of RNA that is complementary in sequence is used to stop expression of a specific gene. The correct answer is option 4 is correct. A piece of RNA that is complementary to given sequence is used to stop Stop the expression of a particular gene. This technology is known as antisense technology. Question number 7. In the DNA molecule, there are two strands which run anti parallel, one in 5' to 3' direction, another in 3' to 5' direction. The total amount of purine nucleotides and pyrimidine nucleotide is not always equal. 
there are two strands which run 5 prime to 3 prime direction the proportion of adenine in relation to thymine varies with the organism so there are four statements given about the dna you have to tell which one is correct so the correct answer is option one is correct there are two strands which run anti-parallel one in five prime to three prime direction another in three prime to five prime direction question number eight nucleotides are formed of remember guys when you read search questions what is what are they asking nucleotide or nucleoside that single word of s or t makes a great difference so in the question they are asking about nucleotide purine sugar and phosphate purine pyrimidine and phosphate purine pyrimidine sugar and phosphate pyrimidine sugar and phosphate so the correct answer is option c purine pyrimidine sugar and phosphate Question number nine, gel electrophoresis is used for cutting of DNA into fragments, separation of DNA fragments according to their size, construction of recombinant DNA by joining with cloning vector, isolation of DNA molecules. What is gel electrophoresis used for? Gel electrophoresis is a common technique that is employed in biotechnology in which a gel slab is used and uh, samples are loaded electricity is passed and the samples get separated according to their size so the correct answer is option b separation of dna fragments according to their size and this does not apply only to the dna fragments even the protein fragments or the rna fragments can be separated according to their size question number 10 which of the following biomolecules does have a phosphodiester bond Nucleic acid and nucleotide, fatty acid and diglycerides, monosaccharides and polysaccharides, amino acids and polypeptides. A very, very, very simple question. Phosphodiester bonds are present in. The correct answer is option 1. Nucleic acids in a nucleotide. Question number 11. Cry 1 endotoxins produced by bacillus thuringiensis are effective against ballworm, mosquitoes, flies, nematodes cry one endotoxins the correct answer is option one they are effective against ball worms and are used in right production of resistant cotton question number 12 the genetically modified brinjal in india has been developed for insect resistance enhancing shelf life enhancing mineral content or drought resistance genetically modified brinjal in india has been developed for the correct answer is option 1, insect resistance. Question number 13. Modern detergents contain enzyme preparations of thermophiles, acidophiles, alkaliphiles or thermoacidophiles. The correct answer is option 3, alkaliphiles. Question number 14. Animal cell differs from plant cell in possessing vacuoles, centrosomes plastids mitochondria the correct answer is option b centrosomes question number 15 the dna molecules to which gene of interest is integrated for cloning is called as carrier transformer vector template the correct answer is option 3 vector So those are the 15 MCQs for today. We'll see you guys again tomorrow with another set of 15 MCQs from the next unit of NCRT Biology. Till then, all the best and keep working hard. Do like and share this video if you find it helpful. And if you're new out there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.